Good morning, lads and laces. Good morning. I'm not even sure if I'm wearing this right. <laughs> For those of you that are Irish, let me know if I'm wearing this hat correctly. <laughs> I'm representing all of the Irish and beautiful Irish people out there, including my husband because he is Irish. <laughs> he wears this hat very, very well. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I figured I'd be a little silly this morning. Um, I mean, I needed to bring, you know, St. Patty's Day to you somehow. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I hope you grabbed your cup of coffee or tea so that you can join me this morning. Probably not going to keep this, this cap on or this hat on for too long because it's so heavy on my head. It's humongous. It's huge. <laughs> But anyway, happy St. Patty, happy St. Patrick's Day to you that are, that you are Irish, beautiful people of the Lord. Yes. Um, good morning. Good morning to you guys. Um, so I was, again, <laughs> God brought to my attention this morning as I was journaling with him this morning, um, something that he wanted to remind me of. And, you know, that occurred last night. I don't know about you guys, but I um, I know that we all have that one person or more, you know, that, um, that just really rubs us the wrong way or that gets under our skin, <laughs> you know. And, um, and sometimes it's just so hard. Good morning, April. You love the hat. I'm not even sure if I'm wearing it right. <laughs> um, but I have that one person in my life that just gets under my skin. God forgive me. And I always ask him to just give me so for me for me to just give this person so much grace and mercy. And because I am very merciful, but with this particular person just Oh, it's just so hard. It is so hard sometimes. And so, oh my goodness. So I was reminded of that again last night and this morning as I was journaling. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about favoritism. And the Lord doesn't favor anyone, you know, and no matter how rich or how poor or whether they they are a beautiful person, I say beautiful in the eyes of society, you know, or not, or, you know, they don't dress right, or they have addictions and you don't have addictions, or, um, or they <laughs> are very chatty and you're not so chatty, or they just keep rambling on, or, or, or whatever the case may be, or they are very negative, you know, and, um, and you're not so negative, or, you know, or they're rich and, you know, you know, maybe they're poor, or maybe they're homeless and, you know, just so on and so forth. I could just keep going on and on and on, or they don't believe in the same things that you believe, you know, um, or have the same commonalities. And so there's always that person that we just have to give so much more grace and mercy than we do with others, right? And God still loves them. They are still his children. And thank you, Lord, for reminding me of that. They are still his children. Good morning, Rachel. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. Good morning, Melanie. <laughs> Love you, girl. Um, so, yes, so that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys this morning. And it is going to be God's love letter to us. And I hope you grabbed your cup of coffee or tea to join me. And this hat is just so heavy. It's not going to be staying on. <laughs> It is heavy. It's actually starting to already fall on my face. <laughs> Pretty soon you're not even going to be able to see my face anymore. Um, all right, so let me just start us off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us reminders every day, Lord, of who we are in you and who we dwell in you, Lord, that we are created to love that agape love that you give us, Father. That it's all about love. All about love and about loving all people, Father. 
no matter what the situation. Thank you, Father, for giving us grace and mercies every day and for reminding us that we need to give others the same in return, Lord. Everyone, everyone. Yes, Father, thank you for those reminders. Help us not ever show favoritism towards anyone, Lord, and to treat everyone the same just as you treat us all the same, Lord, and love us the same. Because we are your, we are your children. We are your beloved ones. And thank you for those reminders, Lord. And Father, I ask for many, 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 many blessings on the beautiful, your beautiful people that are here with me and that for those that will be watching, Lord in the message that you are sharing with all of us, Father. Blessings on their lives, blessings on their finances and their families, your continued hedge of protection over them, Father, and help them also to just continue to keep pouring your grace and love over others, Father, just as you do with us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Woo, okay, it's coming off. <laughs> I just, now my hair is going to be all flat. <laughs> okay. Woo, let me fix my hair now. <laughs> now my hair is going to be all flat today because of that hat. It's all good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So the first scripture I want to read to you guys actually is from the book of James. And it's going to be a long one. Book of James. Chapter 2. Okay, now I'm not liking my hair anymore. <laughs> Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so um, good morning, good morning, guys. Um, so I'm going to read James 2, verses 1 through 8. Let me just get this out of here. So it's going to be a long one. So James 2, verses 1 through 8. My fellow believers, do not practice your faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ with an attitude of partiality toward people. Show no favoritism, no prejudice, no snobbery. For if a man comes into your meeting place wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and then a poor man in dirty clothes also comes in. And you pay special attention to the one who wears the fine clothes and say to him, you stay here in this good seat. And you tell the poor man, you stand over there or sit down on the floor by my footstool. Hmm. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with wrong motives? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, has not God chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and as believers to be heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. It is not the rich who oppress and exploit you and personally drag you into the courts of law. Do they not blaspheme the precious name of Christ by which you are called? If, however, you are really fulfilling the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbors as yourself. That is, if you have an unselfish concern for others and do things for their benefit, then you are doing well. Mm. Amen and amen to that. And then I just want to read one more scripture. It's actually from 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Again, that's 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Beloved, let us unselfishly love and seek the best for one another. For love is from God. And everyone who loves others is born of God and knows God through personal experience. So again, love is from God. And we are to love all people. 
So God's love letter to you and to me. Beloved daughter or son, there are people who are easy for you to get along with, and those people will always be a gift to you. But remember that you're here to represent the way I love. And I don't have favorites. I love you and all my children the same. Remember that you represent my family. Treat each person the same, young or old, rich or poor, those you have everything in common with and those you have nothing in common with. And you will represent our family accurately. And others will know that they can come to me just as they are. Just as they are. Love your Heavenly Father. Amen and amen. It doesn't matter if we have a high or low opinion of ourselves or others. Our God does not have favorites. He loves all his children the same. We should show Jesus' love to all people and not allow favoritism of any kind. God wants us to reflect his love to the world so that we should always try to love others as he loves us abundantly. He loves us unconditionally with no differences whatsoever. When we favor one, what are we doing? Another one is feeling forgotten. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for those reminders. Yes, everyone is made in God's perfect image. I am no better than any of you and anyone else. None of us are. Even with my hair looking crazy, <laughs> now it's all flippity. <laughs> oh, no one is better. No one, no one, no one, no one is any better than another. And that is so hard sometimes for us to even like take in because of society and because of what society teaches us, because of what the world teaches us. You know, maybe because of what our parents taught us, right? Maybe because of school. Woo. Thank you, Lord, for those reminders. Thank you, Father. Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you as it was to me. <laughs> uh, can't wait to be with you guys again tomorrow morning. God willing, I will be here again tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful St. Patty's Day today. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.